Welcome to a Code Report Leak Code Solution video. In this video, we're going to be going over problem 4 from Leak Code Contest 69 entitled Minimize Max Distance to Gas Station. So, our problem states on a horizontal number line, we have gas stations at positions given in our vector stations of integers where n equals the length of that vector. Now we add k more gas stations so that d, the maximum distance between adjacent gas stations, is minimized. And the problem asks us to return the smallest possible value of d, that maximum distance. And note that the number of stations will be in the range 10 to 2,000. Uh, the integer range for the positions of our stations will be between 0 and 10 to the power of 8 and k, the number of additional gas stations that we are adding, will be in the range 1 to 10 to the power of 6. So let's take a look at our example here. We have stations at positions 1, 5, and 10, and k is equal to 1, so we need to add one gas station. So the visualization of this is as follows. Here is our horizontal number line, and our goal is to minimize the distance between these gas stations. So currently, the distance between the gas stations are 4 between the first and second, and 5 between the second and third. And if we are going to add one gas station, it is pretty clear that we need to add it in between the second and third gas station. So if we do that, that reduces those two, the, the distance of 5 into two distances of 2.5, and that leaves our maximum at 4. So pretty straightforward. If we change k to 2, uh, it's still pretty clear that we need to add our gas station to the first interval in between our first and second gas station. And if we do that, the following happens, and now our maximum distance is equal to 2.5. Now it gets a little bit interesting, uh, but still pretty clear what we need to do, although your first assumption might be, if k is 3, that we need to add a gas station in now the third or fourth interval. But that's not... Uh, what we want to do, and you'll see that what we actually want to do is split the original second interval, uh, the interval between our second and third gas stations, uh, into three uh, equal uh, distances or intervals. Um, and this way, we're keeping uh, all of the distances at a minimum. So this will inform our algorithm. Basically, we need a, a structure, which we're going to call interval, that keeps track of the original distance between each of the adjacent gas stations. And it also keeps track of how many gas stations have been added in between those uh, two gas stations so that we can calculate uh, that the, the new sub intervals between those two gas stations. Uh, and so we'll, ba we'll basically have three values in our uh, struct one called the distance, which is equal to the actual distances uh, based on the original distance between the two adjacent gas stations and the number of gas stations uh, in between those two original gas stations. And uh, we'll use a priority queue in order to always have access to uh, the interval that has the maximum distance. So let's take a look at our code. You can see here at uh, the top is the struct that I just described. So we have our three values, our uh, numerator, our denominator, and the distance. And you can see that we have this function called update. And so whenever we need to basically add a gas station to this interval, we're going to increase the denominator, so add a gas station, and then update our distance, which will just be equal to the numerator, the original distance between the two adjacent gas stations, and the denominator, which is 1 plus the number of gas stations that have been added, because we can't divide by 0 when there's no gas stations. We want to divide by 1. And uh, we've defined this uh, less than operator in order for us to be able to uh, use the priority queue correctly. Uh, so that will make sure that we always can efficiently uh, move the interval with the highest distance, this value, to the top. Uh, so let's uh, skip down to the function minmax gas dist. And the first thing we do here is we uh, construct our priority queue. 
So we have a helper function here. You can ignore the uh, template. That's just boilerplate to uh, genericize this code. And you can see we're taking the vector of stations and uh, we're creating this temporary vector based on the size of our stations. And we're using this STL function called adjacent difference, which uh, takes a begin iterator or two iterators pointing to the beginning of a range and the end of a range. And then uh, th the third parameter is the beginning of the range that you want to output the differences between the values. So instead of having to write our own for loop where we subtract uh, the two values that are next to each other, we can just use this STL function. We have to call this line t dot erase uh, of the uh, first uh, elements in our array uh, t because adjacent difference uh, doesn't just take it doesn't just uh, give you the differences between the elements, it also gives you the difference between zero and the first element, and we don't need that for our algorithm. And uh, once we have this vector, we can then construct and return a priority queue of type T, which we're passing in as interval here, uh, and we're using the constructor, the, the constructor that takes two iterators in order to construct this priority queue. So at this point, we have our priority queue. We're going to skip this line and come back to it because it's an optimization. And at that point, our code is pretty simple. We're just going to loop through. Uh, so while K, so while we still have gas stations to add, we are going to grab the top interval. So that's the interval with the highest distance. So in our example, it would be equal to the interval that had the distance equal to five. Um, so top does not pop that from the uh, priority queue. So we have to do that afterwards. And then we're saying, while we still have gas stations to add, and while the distance of that top interval is greater or equal uh, to the next top interval, keep on adding gas stations and decrement uh, the number of gas stations that we have to add. And once that interval no longer has the maximum distance, uh, we're gonna stop our loop, push it back in to the priority queue, and then uh, repeat this while loop so it'll get the next interval and continue. And if we do that uh, until we exhaust the number of gas stations that we have to add, we'll end up with uh, our answer. And so we skip this line. So this, uh, the runtime, the complexity of this algorithm is going to be uh, n log n. So our first uh, n is actually k. So it's k log n, n being the size or the number of gas stations that we have. But because K can be up to a million uh, and N can be up to 2,000, this will time out when K is very large. So we had to add an optimization. And that's basically this condition here that's saying that if our distance is also greater than the maximum distance that we know our answer is going to be, keep on uh, performing or adding gas stations to this interval. And we can figure out this value by basically looking at your, the position of your first gas station, uh, which is right here, the position of your last gas station, and then dividing that by the number of gas stations we're gonna add plus one. So if we uh, have basically our first gas station at uh, position one, our last gas station, at position 11, we know that we have uh, an, a total interval between our first and last gas stations of 10. And if we have nine gas stations to add, that means we're going to have maximum 10 intervals. Uh, so we're, we're simplifying. Obviously, we have more than two gas stations, but we're just saying in the worst case, we actually know we're going to have at least 10, but pretend that we can have less. In the worst case, we'll only have two. And if we were just to split uh, that interval into equal sub-intervals, we know it's going to be that interval length divided by k plus 1. And with this optimization, in the cases where k is really, really big, it's going to make max uh, dist uh, pretty small. So our, our k is basically going to be reduced in the worst cases. Thanks for watching.